London. And like so many of our great cities, a London that slowly at first has been changing its face and shape. But how much of old London is scheduled to survive? Brewers' horses, bred in fact for a different world, still at work in this unique capital. Still loved, but how do they fit in this skyscraper age? Because before the new city can assert itself, a lot of the old one has to come down. It's a hark back to a half-forgotten war. This changing townscape looks like a city that's been blitzed. Inevitably, some of the old elegance is doomed and done. There's a clash between tradition and streamlined progress sadness and a sense of excitement are holding hands. There's just one thing to do. Turn right round while the whole thing's worked out and take an away from it all holiday. That's what these thoroughbred Shire horses are going to do. They're going off for a breath of country air away from the demolition dust. For generations, this horse's holiday has been an annual event, and the first thing to do when you're going to the country is to take off your city shoes. That's where the blacksmith comes in. But how much longer will a blacksmith be part of the city scene? Does it need courage as well as craftsmanship to take off a powerful horse's shoe? Does it need courage as well as craftsmanship to walk the tightrope on a doomed house with a pickaxe that pronounces its doom? It's a brave new world we're building, and perhaps saint and sinner will be well out of it. There's not even an old-fashioned four-legged bull dozing in the pasture that saint and sinner are heading for. It's hard for us humans to accept the full impact of these swirling changes. So what about those horses? Could they be aware of this grand transformation scene that they've left? You'd almost think 
those horses understood.